air is all around us even in the room where you are sitting but it cannot be seen felt tasted or smelt unless it is dirty we cannot see the air when it is clean but we can feel the air when it moves like when the wind blows we can even hear it when it moves very fast air can give shape to things as it occupies space air has weight like us all living things need air to breathe let us do an activity cover a potted plant with a plastic bucket do not forget to water it daily but cover it soon afterwards remove the bucket after 3 days what do you observe the plant which was inside the bucket is dead as it did not get air to breathe one of the reasons why plants are so important to us is because they produce oxygen while making food oxygen is the most important gas for all living things as it is needed to stay alive it also keeps the air fresh along with oxygen air also contains other gases like nitrogen carbon dioxide and hydrogen did you know earth is the only planet in our solar system that has oxygen on it oxygen is also important for the fire to exist let us see that by an activity light a candle and cover it with a glass observe it for some time you will see that even without blowing it the flame goes out after some time because the oxygen in the air that was present in the glass got used up thus we say air is required for burning so if we have to put out a fire we cut the oxygen supply to it what air contains now let us look at what air contains have you ever seen steam coming out of boiling water this steam is water vapor air also contains water vapor water vapor is very important for rains without water vapor we would have no rains air also contains dust particles and smoke burning rubbish wood leaves firecrackers and plastic smoke coming out of factory chimneys fumes coming out of vehicles create smoke in the air and lead to air pollution air also contains a lot of very tiny living organisms called germs these germs are dangerous they can infect us and make us ill smoke dust and germs are harmful to us and we must try to keep the air free from these wind activities 
like kite flying and parachute sailing working of the windmill are possible with the help of moving air this moving air is called wind wind also helps in carrying pollens and light seeds of flowers and fruits to different places this is how new plants grow sometimes in far off places we can also use the energy of wind to produce electricity with the help of windmills a gentle wind is called breeze when the wind blows strongly with a lot of force it becomes a storm storms can sometimes uproot trees and cause a lot of damage they are not good for crops clean air the best way to have clean air is to plant more trees stop burning garbage smoke from factories should be controlled vehicle owners should make sure that their vehicles are checked for pollution regularly garbage should be kept in covered dustbins whenever we cough or sneeze we should cover our mouths with a handkerchief this will prevent the germs from spreading in the air we should learn more about pollution and how to control it this will help us to save our environment